This is the chair of death exercise. Hopefully no humans or chairs will be harmed in the making of this video. Um, the goal of this is to work on getting out of a quad dominant squatting pattern and use a little more of a hip dominant squatting pattern. Part of the reason for this is that we know that quad dominance in running is associated with overstriding, landing too far out in front of our bodies. And for my 10 or 12 years of working in the clinic, I would say that around 80 to 90% of runners when asked to perform a squat, usually do something like this. All quad, a lot of force on the knees, very little use of the hips. And although we won't squat with barbells the same way we do this chair of death exercise, it's a good way to just get out of that quad dominant squatting pattern. So you're gonna need two things. One is any chair will do. Uh, second is a simple dowel rod. Uh, you could use a broomstick or anything that's straight. And this is basically gonna help me maintain a relatively spine neutral position. I like to place one hand in the low back and Feel my knuckles against my low back, against my head, upper back, and on my tailbone. Now at the bottom of my squat, it may come off my tailbone a little bit, and that's okay. Then I'm going to get not shins touching the chair, and not way back here, but I want to, when I look down, basically just the ends of my toes are covered by the chair. And now the goal is to squat as low as I can without my knees touching the chair. If my knees touch the chair, I'm going to die, hence the chair of death. So, toes are covered up. My first move is going to be at the hips. I'm going to sit back, sit back, reach back with the hips as much as I can, trying to maintain that spine neutral. Now my knees come forward a little bit, but they're not quite touching the chair, and back up. Sit back into it, hips go back, knees go forward a little, but not past the toes. Hips back. So do your reps. Maintain good form, maintain that spine position. Move the chair a little bit if you have to. For a lot of people, you might not be able to go very far at first, but as your hips get stronger and you get used to the motion, you'll be able to squat a little deeper without hitting the chair.